Hi everyone, we are going to see how to create a local M repository using any one of the DVD or ISO file by mounting in the virtual machine. In this te test environment, I am having a virtual machine. I am practicing in the test uh, virtual machine. So I am going to mount the ISO file in the virtual machine so that I will get a say, CD-ROM device inside the virtual machine. Let me list the files under M and T. There is no files now. And this is my device, CD-ROM, Dave SR0. So I am going to mount the SR0 under M and T. Mount slash Dave SR0 slash M and T. You will get a right protector mounting read only. Ignore it because it's a CD-ROM and we can see the files in the CD-ROM now I want to navigate to atcm.repo.d here I want to touch a file this rel.repo the extension want to be .repo and let me edit the rel.repo file and I want to give the header of the file rel underscore local it want to be in, inside the bracket and name is equal to rel underscore local this name will be shown when the packages were downloaded and installed and the base url is equal to file semicolon slash slash mnt oh sorry colon so the file is the there is three slashes because the file is mounted in the local file system slash mnt there will be three slashes and enable is equal to one that means the repository was enabled zero means it's disabled and the gpg check is zero because i am not using the key file the gpg key file is equal to left it blank and save the file and exit now we can install any packages by issuing the command yum install uh, let me clean all the catches there is no catches but i am doing that one it's not required. Let me try to install the Vim package using yum install Vim, and the packages are getting download. We can see the repository data. The repo catches are downloading now. The packages are downloading. It's showing the the blah blah blah. The packages will be installed. So the dependency for the Vim and the Vim package, uh, the Perl packages are dependency for the Vim. Now the PAL package is installing, it's taking a little bit time. So by setting up a local EM repository, we can, we can download, our download speed will be very faster because the files are located as a local, it's uh, saved under the local using our ISO mounter, just mounter. If we are going to set up a HTTPD or VSFTPD repository, it will take a little bit time to download from the servers because it can be in the local server or it can be in the remote server. Now it's almost completed. Now the package was installed. So let me list the repository, yum repo list. Only one repository I have defined, so it will show the rel underscore local and the repository name was rel underscore local. We can see the ID and repo name was rel underscore local. Let me check whether the, what are the packages are installed. Tail minus f var log m dot log. These are the packages which I have installed. Uh, like this, we can set up later in coming upcoming chapters. We can see how to set up a yum repository using HTTP and VSFTP service. Please subscribe and keep on watching these videos to prepare for uh, your well examinations thank you thank you for watching